Do you have any advice that you'd like to give your son if one day maybe he watches this? Um, that's a great question. I would say um, to just be yourself and do things that make you happy um, because when you really take a step back and a lot of people, you know, live their lives for other people, uh, and, and, and I don't mean that in a, uh, a bad way, uh, or, I, or I do mean it in a bad way. I don't mean it in a good way. Like some, some people, you know, live their lives, you know, for other people. Like my mom, for instance, she really never did anything for herself for a very long time because she was living for her sons. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people live their lives based on the opinions of other people. And I would say that I did that for a lot longer than I should have. And I would say if I were to give any advice to my uh, son would be people really don't care. They, you, they might type a bad comment on a post or something, <laughs> but they, they really don't care. They, they, they don't really care about you to the, the way that you think that they do. Um, it's, it's really in passing. Like th they have an opinion and then it's gone. So I would say just be true to yourself and live the life that you want to live and not think about what other people are thinking about you because they really don't care, not to the level that you think that they do. So that's what I would say to him. Oh, that's so powerful, man. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate all no the problem. things that you shared with us, talked to us about ranging from your, your total journey mm -hmm. all the way down to like your crazy stories. Honestly, like I love the stories that you share. I could, yeah, see, I could see like, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm always envious when we were at Maui and you're like uh, at the head of the dinner table and then like I'm not, I'm like five people away from you and everyone's just cracking up. It's like, I wish I could hear that. It was like, I'm just on the other end, you know, it's the, just too the, far away. The last dinner that we had at the, the last go yeah. around uh, when we were at that uh, sort of event space, yeah, yeah, but on the yeah. like the, mm -hmm. the ledge, mountain ledge thing there, that that dinner was I'm I'm hoping that nobody recorded that. <laughs> it was so fantastic and it was so much fun. But there were so many different stories going around that it was just it was fantastic. But yeah, you yeah. inspire me to like have my own stories, man. Because I, I feel well, like, you're young. You still have yeah, a lot of time to a, make I your own stories. I, yeah, yeah, I still have a lot of time to make my own stories. But yeah. ho hopefully, you know, traveling around the country, doing all these crazy yeah. things I mean, with the podcast. This you know? is a story. This you is, are living a great story right now. It's yeah. such a fantastic idea yeah. um, that you are like you're living a story that you can share now, twenty years down the road, and they're going to be like, "That's the coolest thing that I've ever heard." I honestly think it is. It's so. It's so outside of what people are doing, you know, and it's just, you're not following any norms, you know, I think mm -hmm. it's, it's awesome. I, I was, I didn't, I didn't know before today, like what we were going to talk about. And when we were in my office and you told me what we were talking about, I'm like, that is so much better, you know? Oh yeah. Because, uh, you know, when you, f when you follow a script forever, uh, then you, it's just, it's unoriginal and boring. Yeah. You know, that's why a lot of, you know, times when I'm talking to other investors and like the first thing they ask is like, how many, how many units do you have? Excuse me. That's probably a false alarm. That was going to go. But like, they're like, oh, how many units do you have? And I'm like, God, that's just not an original question. Like, <laughs> that's why they say when you're networking, you just talk, you just start talking to people and find commonalities. And then that's like how you get your investors or partners mm -hmm. and stuff. It's just, yeah. you don't want to follow a script because yeah. it's boring. You have your own quirky style of building relationships mm -hmm. and just looking at it from afar, I'm just like, it's it's just hard to put a formula with that. As much as just like, it's just your own sauce. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? It, that's why I think that the the one thing that I would advise, you know, my son, if you ever heard this, is just be yourself. Because eventually, if you're not, people are going to see through that and yeah. they're going to see who you, for who you really are. And, you know, they're, they're not going to like it.